Hello artists! In this video we're going to learn how to draw a birdhouse using two-point perspective. Your eye can is I can draw a birdhouse using two-point perspective. Now I'm going to demonstrate this birdhouse for you in the video, but as always you're the artist so feel free to come up with a unique and interesting composition. Here's another example. Welcome artists! To begin your two-point perspective drawing, place your paper up and down or portrait style and grab your ruler and a pencil. We're going to begin by drawing a horizon line, a theoretical line that represents the eye level of the observer, a point where the earth meets the sky. In order to do this, we have to draw a straight horizontal line from one side to the other, approximately in the middle of your paper. Quick tip, draw it lightly as it's just a guideline and we will be erasing it. Next, draw two vanishing points, one on each end of your horizon line by creating two dots. Your vanishing points are a point of convergence, the spots on the horizon line which the receding parallel lines diminish. It allows an artist to create a three-dimensional look to their drawing or painting. Next, draw a vertical line that intersects going through that horizon line, making sure it's a little longer underneath. Next, you're going to draw lines from the top and bottom of the vertical line to the vanishing points, starting on the left side and then working to the right. Remember, these are points of convergence, which reference two or more things coming together or the joining of something. Think of them as magic force fields pulling every line that you draw, in particular these diagonals, to them. Next, draw two parallel lines, one on the right side of the vertical line that you just drew and one on the left. You can begin by placing your ruler up against that original line and just moving your ruler across the page. I also like to make them just a little bit different in size to create visual interest. You have now created the beginning form of your birdhouse. Next, grab your eraser and we're now going to erase our horizon line as well as all of the other lines that were going to our vanishing point. Next, we're going to draw an X. This is going to help us figure out where the top of our root should be. Draw it lightly where those lines intersect or crisscross. You're going to draw a straight vertical line up. That is where the triangle is going to form for the peak of our root. So with your ruler, you're going to draw one diagonal line that connects to one side of that square to the other side. And now we have the pitch of our roof. Go ahead and then erase those lines. Again, they were just there to help guide our drawing. To finish off our roof, we are going to draw another diagonal line going to the vanishing point on our left hand side. Draw it nice and light. And now we're going to draw one more diagonal line parallel to our diagonal here. I like to start with my ruler and then just drag it down so that I know I have a nice parallel diagonal line. You can go in and then just darken up those lines you just drew. And now we have the basic shape for our birdhouse. Go ahead and erase any extra lines that you have on your paper at this point. We won't need them anymore. Now let's draw a circle for the opening of our birdhouse. I'm going to draw one large circle for this particular drawing, but feel free as the artist to draw whatever kind of birdhouse opening you would like. Next, I'm going to draw a little wood dowel for my bird to perch on. 
So I'm going to draw a small little circle shape with two little diagonal lines receding back and then connected by a little curved line. Okay, artists, now that you've created your two-point perspective birdhouse, it's time to show off your artistic abilities and create a unique setting. Now, I'm going to draw mine as if it's hanging from a tree branch, but feel free to draw any setting that interests you. Draw vertical lines going down to create a post in the ground. Don't forget to be creative and add some decorative details and elements to make your birdhouse really stand out. Next, I love to trace my lines with either an extra fine tip or fine tip Sharpie. So go ahead and do that now. The purpose of a two-point perspective drawing is to help give the illusion of depth in art. Another great way to achieve this is by adding value or shading objects in your drawing. So experiment with where your light source may be, adding some dark areas and light areas to help give you the illusion of depth and a more realistic drawing. Well done, my most amazing artists. And as always, thanks for drawing with me. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing.